Greetings fellow Conquerors, this is Darkfire Slide, and welcome to a video where I'm going to talk about forts in 1.18 and the problems that I think happens from high fort maintenance that have been overlooked in Paradox's decision to revert the fort maintenance changes that were coming in 1.19. I'm using Revolutionary France in the 1792 start date as an example, uh, just to show, you know, highlight, because A, this country has tons of forts, and B, just to show like how having that many forts you know makes an impact on your economy and why it's a terrible idea so without further ado let's uh, take a look at the current situation so we're revolutionary France we've currently got 19 active forts now not all of these forts are level 8 fair enough some of them are still level 2 castles whatever they should probably have been upgraded if we're going to have them to at least the level the level three fort, you know, the level, you know, effectively the level six, but <clears throat> anyway, how many, how many ducats is this? You know, how how much is this impacting our economy to have this? Currently, it's saying that we have forty-two uh, ducats a month in fort maintenance. Now, <laughs> our army doesn't take nearly as much. At least it shouldn't. We're pay the majority of our economy is going towards paying for these forts. That's literally it. And bear in mind, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you because we don't just have fort you know, we don't have just like basic forts. France gets a reduction to fort maintenance of negative twenty percent, and we also have defensive ideas, which further lo lowers it by ten percent. So we've got a thirty percent reduction to fort maintenance. And yet we're still paying forty two ducats a month with nineteen forts. Most of which aren't even the max, well, some of which aren't even the max level. That's a lot of ducats, okay? In fact, I've even done the math so that you can understand how many ducats this is. So say you built 15 level 8 forts over the lifetime of a game. Because, let's say four of them you absolutely need to have. Let's just say, like, you want a, a fort here, you want a fort here, you want a fort here, and maybe a fort up here in Calais, just to guard the coastline, guard the borders to make sure that the enemy doesn't just come screaming through your territory. So we're only calculating 15 forts because I think that's 15 too many. And here's here's how much 15 forts impacts your economy. So let's just do let's just, just do like the start initial cost. This is the initial cost of 15 level 8 forts. At our current rate, getting a cost reduction, by the way, from having economic ideas and, you know, fort you know, reduced uh, costs from defensive ideas as well. Actually, it's not even from defensive. I'm not sure where we're getting this uh, extra cost reduction, but uh, I'm sure it has something to do with France's ideas. At any rate, our current cost to build a level 8 fort is 560, and it doesn't matter if you upgrade them over, over time or if you build them all at once because the upgrade cost doesn't save you anything, it just upgrades the fort. So, at our current price of 560 ducats, for 15 level 8 forts, that is 8,400 ducats. 8,400 ducats. What can you do with 8,400 ducats instead of using forts? Let's start with a really good building that would help us out since our economy is great, since we're a European country, because we're France. We could build conscription centers. Conscription centers increased your land force limit by plus 2. With 8,400 ducats, we could build 30 regimental camps. That is 60 additional force limit to our base force limit. And why is this important? Because base force limit gets multiplied by force limit modifiers. So that 60 becomes even higher when you add it to everything else. You know, especially since current we, currently we have the revolution in this country, and we've also got offensive ideas, so that's 60% more force limit that we're getting. So 60% more of 60. <laughs> that is how many more troops we would get out of this. So we'd be uh, basically getting another, like, 100 force limit out of this if we had decided to build regimental camps instead of 15 level 8 forts. Okay, how about, how about economy? How about economy? Let's talk about counting houses. Counting houses cost the same as regiment or uh, conscription centers. How much should they improve our economy by? Well, on a province that actually has, you know, a good trade good or a decent development, you're going to see anywhere from, uh, anywhere from 0.4 to 0.7 ducats a month. Uh, from this. You could build 30 counting houses, just like 30 regimental camps. On average, 
between between the range of numbers that you're going to get from building these on provinces where it's actually useful, uh, I, I calculated it as about 0.55 on average. So 30 counting houses is going to give you 16.5 ducats per month, and that price goes up as tech goes up. Granted, we're near the end of the game in this instance, but 16.5 ducats a month. That is so much money. <laughs> that is an obscene amount of money. All right. How about the Navy? France's Navy isn't very good, is it? We look here. We've got a hundred force limit, but you know what would be great if we have eighty-four hundred ducats to spend on ports. If we built, if we spent all of that money on grand shipyards, each of which gives plus four naval force limit, we could build forty grand shipyards, giving a total naval force limit bonus of one hundred sixty. Our force limit would go <laughs> from it, it's it would it would be even higher than this because that's base force limit, which gets multiplied by the revolution modifier. But as it stands, we would still be at 260 force limit. That is an obscene amount of force limit for ships. We could beat the British, we could beat the Royal Navy with that, I think. <laughs> Assuming they didn't also build grand shipyards with their money that they didn't spend on forts. Okay, now let's talk about recruiting regiments. Now, in this case, we've got reduced costs because we've got economic ideas, we've got defensive ideas. Uh, we don't have quantity, which would further reduce it, um, although defensive only reduces maintenance anyway. So, um, in this case, our impulse infantry costs 10 ducats, our Latin chasseurs cost exactly 25, our mortars cost 30. With 8,400 ducats, we could build 840 new infantry regiments, 336 cavalry regiments, and 280 artillery regiments. Now, granted, our force limit is only 155, but if we had built regimental camps instead and weren't paying maintenance, then we would have an even higher force limit. Okay, so that brings us on to the next subject. So now that we know what we could do with the upfront cost of 15 level 8 forts, let's talk instead about maintenance. So currently for France, in this start, because we have a 30% maintenance reduction, our level 8 forts are, co are costing us 2.8 ducats every month. That, normally that's four that's four ducats a month without any modifiers. That is a lot of money. <laughs> so normally that would be 60 ducats a month if you have 15 level four or level eight forts. Excuse me. So 2.8 ducats for us right now. What can you do with 15 times 2.8 ducats? Well, that's 42 ducats a month for 15 level eight forts. How much can you support with 42 ducats a month? I'm just doing land troops just to give a just to give an idea. So, if we had the force limit for this, 42 ducats a month right now, because we get our cost reduction because of our national ideas and because of the revolution, our infantry currently costs only 0 .08 ducats per month. So, how many how much infantry is this? If we were to spend our our maintenance instead of on forts on infantry, 525 inf infantry regiments that you could support. Now, what which would you rather have? 15 level four level four forts, or level eight I should say. Or 525 infantry regiments. When you have that much infantry, it, it's like you don't even you don't even need artillery or cavalry. Like who cares at that point if you've got like that many troops? Okay, we don't even have quantity ideas, and we don't have those. We don't have regimental camps either because, for whatever reason, in this start we spent money on 15 forts. Okay. So, maybe you don't feel like paying the manpower for 525 infantry regiments. It's understandable. Manpower is hard to come by. Of course, we could have spent the money that we had from the forts on <laughs> training fields instead, which would give us, in some cases, oh look, 2,500 manpower. Oh look, 1,000 manpower. 1,175 manpower. 940 manpower. 1,206 manpower. Look at all that manpower that we could have had if we had spent our money on training fields instead of forts. What a shame. Okay. So, uh, so, so say we don't have a lot of manpower because we were idiots and didn't build manpower buildings and didn't take quantity ideas. Let's build mercenaries instead. We could support 247 mercenary infantry regiments. Our entire infantry land limit right now, if we deleted all of our, the majority of our forts, could be entirely infantry and our economy would be fine. There would be nothing wrong with our economy at our current force limit if we built nothing but Merc infantry, of which we could build 83 because we're big and we're France. Now, how many cavalry regiments could we, could we support if we built nothing but cavalry, for example? 
we could support 221 cavalry regiments at the current maintenance of 0.19 for the same monthly maintenance that we're paying for those forts. And finally, the artillery, we could support 182 artillery regiments with this. And this stage in the game, that is ridiculous. We could build, like this army doesn't even have artillery. That, that could be troops that we're spending, or, or money that we're spending to actually make this army a better stacked, more vi viable army. Even though, even though, dear God, this 29 cavalry regiments, zero artillery, 20 infantry, what? What is this? <laughs> Goodness. Now, we're at our force limit. This is obvious. And the problem with force limit, and why it's so important in, like, this stage in the game, for a country like France that has super high morale, is that... The, yeah, the reason it's so important is because, you know, you need to be able to build up those more troops. But if you go over your force limit then you start to see diminishing returns on how much you can actually support with your money. However, if we were making 42 ducats per month, even though it's an exponential increase to maintenance when you build over your force limit to, for all your troops, we could still build an additional 50 to 100 regiments in addition to what we already have. And that, and that might even be higher if we had built counting houses because we would have more money. And if we had counting houses that made more money, and if we made more money based because we weren't paying for fort maintenance, we could have the, you know, potentially all of these things and more. So when... when and what really bothers me, the, the conclusion I want to make about this video, what really bothered me about the way Paradox handled 1.19 is that when they said that like, the reasoning they gave for forts wasn't like, oh, it's imbalanced that they're cheaper. It, it, it wasn't, oh, it makes the game broken if you can just build more forts. Their reasoning was, the AI didn't know how to handle it. The AI just built too many forts, and so we're not going to change the forts. And that, to me, is the most insulting part about one, not changing fort maintenance in 1.19. We have so much evidence, so many streamers, so many people these days don't even bother to build more than a capital fort even in an empire this big because they are so goddamn expensive that there's it ruins your economy just to have a fort like in the early game it's just two like two ducats or one ducat a month it's so much even for a big country it's just so much to maintain i personally i like to build four forts you know one on one on my borders just to just to at least simulate the idea of having forts i don't like to play the way of like not having any forts but the reason that people don't have forts is because they're so expensive so so to me the logic that oh, the AI couldn't handle it doesn't sit well with me it doesn't I don't understand that I don't believe that like like really that's what you're gonna base it on like please <laughs> anyway what I propose is that fort maintenance should be reduced to about three quarters now you could argue like oh well it's not very clean math that the base is 7.75 except this is a grand strategy game we, we deal with weird mathematical numbers all the time I don't think it's going to be an issue if at each rank we've got 0.75 1.5 2.25 .2 and then three ducats a month I don't think that's gonna I don't think it's gonna bother anyone that makes it so that forts are a little bit more affordable and it makes sense to at least have some but it's still not you're not gonna be able to spam them like they, it should be reduced. It's just, there's no two ways about it. Now, I'm not saying that you should have 15 forts, or should be able to build 15 forts, but the way it is right now, it's just it's just so expensive. It's just not worth building forts, especially considering that even at this many forts, with ruining our economy, we're only getting 0.79 army tradition a month, which, who cares, basically, is, is how I feel about that. Who cares? Because it'll, it'll slightly increase your resting point, and that's more or less all it'll do. When you can get from defensive and quality ideas, plus one a month. And I think there are other army tradition modifiers that you can get as well. At any rate, I don't. I think Fort Main should be reduced, and I think the AI should be fixed. Not be lazy and punish the player for using a game mechanic. At any rate, thank you for joining me. I hope you sat through this rant, and I hope I got my point across. If you agree or disagree, let me know in the comments. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Until then, Godspeed, and I'll see you on the next one.